so good to see you again. You remember that we discussed last time when we met that the favorite recipe of my kids yep. is, are the fluffy pancakes. So what are we going to do today? We're going to make them. That's so exciting. So I have an apron for myself and for you. You have the nicer one. Let's take one tablespoon of the baking powder. Honestly, that's the whole secret of making them fluffy. So now let's mix this in a little bit. How are you liking your job? What's the best part? So I have to tell you, Harley, I really, really love my job. I find myself doing something different every hour of my day. And to some degree, that's probably one of the reasons why I love it so much, because I have to think about different things all the time. And I'm also getting to meet a lot of new people that I haven't met before, here at Sick Kids, outside of Sick Kids. And most of the time we really talk about how can we make the experience of our patient and the care for our patient and their family better. Does anything surprise you? You may remember last time when we spoke, can you add some homework? Yep. I told you a little bit about my vision around precision child health. Yep. What initially was kind of my vision has become now the vision of our institution because everybody here is so excited about thinking of how we can individualize the care for our children. And last but not least, I have to tell you what's been really humbling for me is the unbelievable support of the donors in the community. What have you learned so far? What are you hearing from the kids? One thing we heard loud and clear is that our kids and our families feel like we need to do a better job integrating our mental behavioral care into the medical care. And that will be a major focus of what we will do over the next few years. The other thing we have talked about is that they want to see a more seamless continuum of care between the hospital, the community, and their home. And we are beginning a virtual strategy as well as enhancing our connected care program to really work towards this idea of a hospital without an address to improve the care for our kids and their families. What's in store for sick kids next year? Over the last few months, we have worked really hard and diligently on developing our new strategic plan for the hospital, which we're going to roll out early in the new year. There are lots of new exciting initiatives, for example, our Precision Child Health Initiative. How do we become a more data-driven enterprise and hospital? But also, how are we going to optimize the journey of our patients and their families? How are we going to unleash the talent of the people who work here? And last but not least, how are we going to design the future academic health center that we're also excited about? All right, let's see whether I can give you a blueberry, a strawberry, and a banana in one piece. Yeah. It's a lot, I know. Is it good? That's good. Amazing, she loves it.